Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be making envelopes. Now any size envelope, so it doesn't matter what size card you've got, so it doesn't have to be a standard size at all, you can just make an envelope for it. Now these ones have got quite a lot of dimensions, so there's three layers of card in there with matting and layering on, there's also foam pads underneath the electric guitar there, so it's got a lot of dimension within there, but you don't need to make a box, you can still make an envelope for it. If it's something that's going to crush, then you're probably still going to want to make a box, but for things like this, then it's fine. Again, we've got another dimensional one here, different shape, so we've got a rectangle, we've got a square, also, we've got dimension under there, quite thick foam pads underneath there. So, you know, it's going to be a large letter in the UK because it's more than 5mm thick. But you can still put it in an envelope and it'd be fine. And then finally, we've got ones that are odd shape. So when you've got a card that's an odd shape, you can still pull it into a rectangular envelope. Now, this one opens like this and you can see that they're all different. So we're gonna just go ahead. I've not pre-made them, all I've done is pre-cut the size. Now the way you work it out, really simple, okay? So for this one, it's always a diagonal measurement. So we're all gonna put the card how you want it and you're gonna measure from either corner to the bottom corner, but it has to be a diagonal measurement. Now the rule of thumb for this is you're gonna measure the diagonal and that one comes out at, let's have a look, 18 and a half centimeters add on two and a half centimeters so you're going to need card that's 20 by 20 square you can also do it in inches and that is seven and a quarter so you add on one inch eight and a quarter so it's basically for all of the cards diagonal measurement doesn't matter which way you do it a diagonal measurement and if you're in inches you add one inch if you work in centimeters you add two and a half centimeters and you cut that card that size in square that's it so the same for this one. So we've got here, we've got quite a big card here. So this is about 21 and a half centimeters or eight and a half inches. So you're gonna want a nine and a half inch square or you're gonna want 21 and a half plus two and a half is 20. <laughs> My maths went bad there, <laughs> 24. <laughs> 22, 24, I don't know why that was so hard for me, but. It was pretty good at maths actually, so I don't know what went on there. Now with ones like this, you're gonna to need to work out what the diagonal is. Now, you could put it on a map like this. You can line it up and put it on the map and work it out from measuring from there to there. Now, for me, you could miss that. So the best thing to do, and you're gonna need a rectangle anyway, is make a rectangular piece. So measure what the distance is across in centimetres or inches. So it's roughly 11, 10 and a half, 11 by four and a quarter. So then you'll cut down your card to four and a quarter and then the length is five and a half. So you'll cut your card to five and a half. So exactly the same size. And if I pop that over it, what you'll see is it's the right length. So it's the same length as your card and the same width. It's okay to be a little bit over, but not under, okay? Uh, a couple of mils or you know a little smidge of an inch won't matter so that's how we're going to make the cards so it doesn't matter which one we start with so let's take whatever I've got on the top so I've got some green paper now paper this is quite a thick paper but you can use any paper so you can use paper you can use wrapping paper you can use packing paper so anything you've got but you want it to be paper if it's card it's just going to be a little bit harder to use so we're going to bring in this. Now what you need to do is make this into a diamond shape. Now decide if you want to have the green on the outside or on the inside. Now if you're writing on the envelope and you don't want to make a white envelope address label, um, out just a bit of paper, then put the pattern on the inside. It's entirely up to you. Okay, so we'll go with the pattern on the inside. And then what you need to do is just get your card. So. The top is going to be where the closure is on your envelope, okay? So just get this so it's in the centre and you can see roughly where it goes. You can see it's got to come down. Don't worry about measuring this. It's got to come down, it's got to go up, etc, etc. And then the best thing to do with this is pull in the sides first. So if you pull in the sides and what you're doing is just pushing it up against that card, okay? So you can get one side in and then the other. And you can see then where they're going to be to make it straight you'll need to adjust 
a little bit and those points will line up so you can push that out like that push that out like that and then you know that it's you know nice and central then you can work on this side now it doesn't really matter because one's going to be coming up in closing so you're just going to fold that up like that okay so you can get that so that this is they're dead straight so you can just fold them down like that and then the only other thing you want to do is line up your ruler there like that and then pull that down for that now you don't have to do this bit you can leave that point there but i actually just quite like it finished off and then you can fold it back the other way hopefully you can see what i'm doing yeah i think you can and then that will go on there now you can either cut that off or just glue it to itself i tend to just glue it to itself it gives that little nice fold you haven't got to worry about cutting anything else then so just a bit of glue stick down like that and then that folds up like that so you can see we're getting our envelope now i don't cut these ones out they're at the bottom if you what it does if you cut them out then you're going to have you know like lines and cuts and the less cutting you've got to do the better so just open it up where that little triangle is just fold it glue it and then fold it back down so just put some glue into that and then fold it back down like that so now that's taken on there then we're going to concentrate on the top so because we've got those all measured up and nice now we're going to pop our card in because we've got dimension on this card so we want to make sure we don't do the envelope too tight and it doesn't fit in so we can pull these back to where they were like this pull this one up like that now we'll do the final one to make sure that we've got enough room so just sort of like all i'm doing is just folding close to that card pulling it down and just make sure there's enough room inside that envelope for it to be posted and not get squashed so we can take all of that out now we know this is the bottom because i've folded over that piece so there's another way of knowing where you've gone if you do it as you go and you know where you are and then all we're going to do is remove these triangles because we don't want them in the way of opening and closing our envelope so we just remove those whoops that's the bottom <laughs> she says <laughs> that goes underneath that goes on top keep the mistakes in that's what i say and then cut down that triangle just make sure i've got that on the right place the right crease like that now you can double check pop your card in without the green um little template these come over first then that goes over the top and then this comes down now you can see there that fold line can you see there is turning over so just remove that because we don't want that to be a factor now you are opening these back up as well so it might be worth waiting and doing those bits at the end actually we'll do that on the next one like i say i'm just making it live so i thought wow you know you want to know how to do it and then the other thing you can do is you can come up and you can just curve it if you want now you don't have to but you can just curve it just adds a little bit of you know poshness if you like don't know why i had to talk like that but i did so we can pop that back in sides in bottom up top down there we go and then you can see that if you've got any because you've got that um bounce in there it's you know it's letting that go out a little bit so just go back in and trim that up like that there you go so that's perfect now so what you need to do is now we can add the glue there now you would add the glue into those little bits i've already done it and then just add some tape onto these bits like so tape onto them make sure it's down come on don't be naughty talk to your tape i'll do the other side i'll ignore it I won't be its friend and then I'll come back to it and it'll be all forgiving we'll see eh let's watch told you <laughs> it's like right okay you're not coming fold this one up now 
keep your card in there because you want the bounce and if you're finding it difficult because you've got gems and things like that just turn it upside down turn it upside down then it's flatter to work with and then you're right in it first before you seal the top bit and there you go that's your first envelope done so we've got number one done there we go there's our card and envelope all ready to go and it's got a nice lining so that's an even better bonus isn't it so that's that one now we'll do the square one so let's take the square one and the this one was 21 and a half because that's one I couldn't measure so that's 24 centimeter cut down or I think it was eight wasn't it no it was eight and a half so nine and a half so 24 centimeter square or nine and a half inch square so here we go we've got a nice jazzy bit of paper for this one so I'm gonna have the jazzy on the outside and then make it you know different on the inside now this one I'm going to turn upside down because there's so much going on there and when I bring this colour over it's going to be like wow you know what's envelope what's card so turn it over so you're working on the plane and you can easily see your corners then and things like that so just put it in roughly what you consider to be the centre just fold these over without folding them and let them cross over like that until they're nice and even like this and if that doesn't look like that point is in the center up there then you might want to turn it a little bit just fold it over a little bit more that way just try and get it so it is in the center but don't worry about it too much so that's those two fold them and what i like to do is take the card out because this one i'm more worried about it looking odd by odd i mean if it comes down there you've got that piece there that bit there and it doesn't look professional so i like to make sure that the bottom meets that those two points there okay so just make sure that the bottom meets those two points and i think that's more important than having it messy so now we can pop our card back in because we're gonna we've got quite a bit of dimension on there so pop those two over and that fits lovely there now and then we'll pull this one down so you just need to sort of put your thumbnail in there or use a ruler across there and pull it down like so now this one doesn't have the fold over bit and that's a really jazzy envelope isn't it you know there's going to be something exciting inside of there so again we're going to cut these two top ones only I'll keep that folded in so i don't cut those two so you don't have to do the rounding so i'll do this one with that make sure you come lower because last time i went above the score line which is why it curled in and you can curve that piece as well that way so you can curve all the angles out if it's in the way so this is going to be the top piece and we're working on the bottom now so again, I like to fold these ones in first. So now you can fold them because you know that they're in the right place. Add just a little bit of glue there. You can cut these out if you want, like I say, it's entirely up to you. So now they're going to be stuck down. And then we'll add some tape to these pieces. And take one off and then do the other one so that they're going to overlap then on the top here. Like that. And then before I put that down, I'm going to put my card back in. Put my card back in, upside down for now because it's easier. Fold these back. Because you can use the card, you can push it down to where you made the fold. Make sure that point lines up there and that's secure. And then this one comes over and you'll obviously do that at the end. So you can cut these, you can round these if you want to before you fold it down and then you just need to put your tape on there ready to go so we know that that's where the envelope is so you can see there's a bit of puff in there but that puffs only to allow for all that dimension that you've got with on, in your card so there's number two so we've got number two done and now three so this is again just a dimensional rectangle so we did a dimensional square dimensional rectangle 
is pretty much going to be the same as what we did for the first one but if you want a reminder then stay tuned and we'll just go through this one as well so this one is 18 and a half so you'll need to cut that two and a half centimeters longer so that's going to be um, 21 by 21 square or in inches it's seven and a quarter so you need eight and a quarter square piece of paper which is that now this is a double sided paper so this is going to look really nice i think that's quite dark to post if you wanted to write just on the envelope so put dark side in and then again we're just going to put our let's turn it over so that we're not blinded by all that beauty that's what my husband has to do <laughs> that's such a joke okay so again we're going to come in and fold in these sides it's quite good actually because i've got that line on the card there that fold so i know to get the points in the right similar type of place so i can move the card up and down and then move these so they're lining up there so i'm grabbing the sides now pushing out to make the seams so we know that's going to go there and this one we're going to just you know get it halfway it doesn't like i said it doesn't matter if it's halfway if you're getting that center bit nice if you're getting those lined up you're halfway there really so let's do that and then again you can leave this out or you can tuck it in you can measure it with the ruler across there or you can do it like this by eye just tuck it down until you can have it up higher you can have it lower so i think there's quite nice so do that I just put a bit of um i don't think this one would take glue it's a shiny double-sided paper so i'm going to put just a little teeny bit of tape on the end there fold that over like that so we've got these three sections done so finally we only need to do this top one so while it's there just work along the edge just feel up to it like that and we know that's going to go there so you take the card out for a minute while we cut these corners just cut these corners off you can feel that's a bit of a thicker card like that and you can round it or not round it it's entirely up to you and what i was saying is you can round these bits didn't i so you can we'll, so here you can round this as well you can round like that might as well make it make them all a little bit different and round that one so you've got like that little nice curvy shape going on there that one and again that one so you can see we've got a nice like little curve and you could make that deeper if you wanted to and then all we need to do is open up and put glue in here but like I said, I don't think this will take glue. You could cut these out to save this tape bit if you didn't want to do this bit. But this finger lift tape is very easy to use. I do put a link in the description to all of the um, my favourite types of tools that I like to use. So now we'll um, pop the card back in just to make sure that nothing's going wrong there. Pick this one up last chance saloon tapes on here the other thing to remember is have a look and see how much space you've got a big wide piece there to tape on so you've got plenty of room for the tape to take and that should be the case always pop that down see no one's going to see that they're just going to see a nice fold instead of a wonky cut line which is probably what i would do That on there do you want me to ignore you tape come to the other end of you there we go Naughty tape. pull that one up so we've got a base in and obviously you can put tape on that for later and there you go we've got our final card and you can see that's got a lot of depth in that one there so have fun guys like i say it's basically i'll just say again diagonal measurement at two and a half centimeters or one inch that's all it is and then make your square and just follow those little tips thanks for watching guys have a great day bye